Once again, you are welcome to the royal home of King Augustus VI. Thank you, Your Highness. Tell me about yourself. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, my name is Andy Francis. Before my father died, he was a teacher. And he made sure that I went to the university. I studied petrochemical engineering. So today I am the owner of Chase filling station, a gas station in the northern part of the country. That's interesting. I know the gas station must be operating on a very low key. You must be a very tactical businessman to have managed that station on the low. So how do you get your customers? Your Highness, we have a diversified network to enable our customer to reach us. And over the years, we've been doing perfectly well. Your father seems to like him. <laughs> Mother, you know, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, Andy has a sense of admiration written all over him that people always like him whenever they meet him. So you see, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew father would like him. So tell me, how and where did you meet him? Um, sorry, what did you say? I said, where did you meet Andy? Oh, um, uh, at the shopping mall. Yes, I um, actually went to do some shopping and then we met and then the chemistry aligned. Here we are today. Really? Yes, really. That's nice. <laughs> nice. You know what, Mom? The last time I insisted and cooked for him, he loved it. I mean, he said he was amazing. Wow. Yes, Mommy. <laughs> That's nice. I wonder what's keeping them. Is that right, my son? You are welcome anytime and any day. I'm happy. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah. A princess? Yes, mother. Go see him off. Okay. He is such a reserved and a conservative man. I like him. That's a man princess likes him too. I know. Uh, Son, I'm worried. Why, Your Majesty? Uh, he might get to know about her past life, and I am scared that might ruin their relationship. I, I, it's been long when I start to look for money. It's been long when money start to run from me. I was so tired about money, no surface. So. Right now I get the money, platter of good. They give me too much money. What is wrong with you? Why are you making jest of me? I am not making jest of you. I mean, you are really a good actor and I appreciate your smartness. It's top notch. You know, you're really making me feel uneasy. Wait. I just said you're good with your dramas. I mean, you're good, that's all. Audrey, thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, tell me, how much do you love your wife? I love my wife so much. Very much. 
Okay, so did you guys some have a wedding, like a proper wedding? Do you have kids? How many are they if you have one? You know, you, you, you really need to understand that the, this deal is between you and I. Okay? We're not supposed to involve our personal life into it. That's not the, 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 the main deal. Well, um, I am sorry. I'm just being curious. Anyway, my wife is the reason I'm doing this deal. I love her so much. And I just want to give her a good life. I see. So what about the car? Can we leave now? Yeah. And I don't suffer, I don't suffer, no be small. Boy, if you believe me, just tell me where do you go to? I are you in for the money or in for the love? Oh? It's been long when I start to look for money. And it's been long when money start to run from me. I was so tired, but money no surface. Oh. Right now I get the money, platter of good. Oh. They give me too much money on the platter of good. Oh. No time to waste, I go spend the money, platter of good. Guys that follow me, they want me on the platter of good. I know, I know, just keep my money on the platter of good. I money up my. My baby, how are you? Hey, baby, now, where are you coming from? I am coming from the shop, of course. Which shop? My, my shop. Your shop. You're a liar. Were you not the same person that told me that your landlord locked your shop for some days now? Well, I went to see him to beg him to see if he can give us some days to gather the money and pay him. Mm. Yes. Mm. You know you're not good with lies. You know, right? Eh? Andy, leave him easy. You reek of feminine perfume. And since when did your shop location change from Tasia Road to Kayata? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about, Andy. I saw you with her. I saw you with the princess. The same girl you have used every plain sheet in this house to draw. I saw you. But babe, see, so it, 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 it's not what you think, okay? I, I, I was only... Shut up! Wait, you born with Sibiko. You was only trying. What, are you, what were you trying to? To do what? Hey! So after everything we've been through, Andy, after everything I did for you, this is how you choose to pay me back. By cheating on me. Is it because she's a princess? Come can I do it? Can I do Can tell me any cream? Eh? I'll buy bleaching cream since you want a fair woman. How could you, Andy? How could you do this to me? After everything. She's a princess and I'm not. After everything I, I, I did for you, this is... Don't, 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 don't you touch me again. Don't, 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 don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. After everything I did for you, Andy, this is how you choose to...
what's going on? What's going on? What do you mean what's what's going on? You're a messy my house and asking what's going on. Eh? Hey, 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 what's going on? Hey, hey, hey. 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 What am I going to do now? Can a man possibly be in love with two women at the same time? This is serious. And to think that I really need this money is so much a reason I must not breach the contract. Not continue. What are you saying? Please come out of there. Andy, listen to me. Andy, you cannot back out now. What are you telling me? Just the other day you visited her parents and she gave you a hundred thousand naira appreciation. And now we are back to shop. In a few weeks' time, you will become a millionaire by ten million naira. Think about it. You can't quit. You see, I, I need a strong hand to handle this. This whole thing is affecting me. It's affecting me. I know you need that, but you also need the money, most importantly. You need the money. Think about it. Ten million naira. Look, after God, the next thing that answers it all thing is money. Ego, money rules the world. If you have money, you have the world at your beck and call. If you have money, things will start happening. Yes, we throw themselves at you. You can afford anything. Hi, Andy. Hi. Hi. And what are you doing here? I came to see you, Andy. Uh, excuse me. You have no reason to be here. You humiliated me. You called me a pig. I said I am sorry. Please. It won't happen again. I am sorry. It's okay. I've heard. So what else do you want? I want you to take me in and quench my sexual urge for you. I want you to be mine, Andy. You must be insane. I am not insane. I am offering you my body, my right senses. See, I have enough complications already. And I don't want you to add to it. Please. I know about your complications and I am not going to add to it. Believe me. You have no idea. Standing a chance to lose your marriage because of the contract. Oh, I know a whole lot. And I am not going to add to them. Brother, I will be there to calm down your stress. You see that young man I just left? 
His name is Collins. He is single. So you can go ahead and have him. Stop it. It's you that I want. I don't need any other man. Three million naira to choose a hotel of your choice to make it happen. All bills on me. Is it not obvious that you're getting physic here? Okay, fine. Five million naira. Either you take the money or I force you to do it. rubbish in my house again. Why are you throwing yourself on a man who does not even know that you exist? Same man that you know that I have a contract with. Why are you throwing yourself on him? Let me also ask you this. Is he your boyfriend? No! I saw a man first who I feel can come into my life and give me what I want. And you're here ranting like I took your man from you. Camilla. You do not do guys. You don't even have urge for me. Why are you dragging this particular person with me? What the hell do you want from my team? I need a child that will be there for me at old age. And a handsome man who can get me pregnant. And of all the men in this world, it is Andy that you choose. I don't get it. What is it? Huh? Why are you making it look like I am the devil here? I met the Andy first. That you both are into some contract marriage is not my business. Besides, they are not in love. I want a man that can get me pregnant. And you cannot do anything about it. Then, you will have to go through me. Over my dead body, will I watch you? Take Andy away from me. Never. Then, you underestimate me. What the hell is wrong with Camilla? What is her problem? Camilla can be extremely obsessed. But I hope she doesn't cross the threshold.
I wish I'm not making a mistake And I wish I'm not taking the wrong path But everything I do, I do for you Just to give you a comfortable life But at the midst of the game, I got confused But as my way gets sense, I realize Say now you be my lover And nobody can take your place in my heart Hey, tell me, girl, I say I love you more. Hey, tell me, girl, I say. Yeah. What is it? What kind of reckless driving is this? I am so so sorry, my dear. Um. But I believe Mr. Andy is your husband. Yes, he's my beloved husband. Anything, no way goes it. Okay. I don't think if you have any idea that your husband, your beloved husband, like you said, is having an affair with Princess Alba. <laughs> well, a piece of advice. Try and protect what you have. For he is your possession. You cannot allow him to be taken away. Else, stop. Hold it right there. Yes, you're a noise maker. Why, 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 why are you making noise? Huh? Keep your advice to yourself, Auntie. I don't need it. Yes. Don't tell me that you're big for nothing. As big as you are with your fine car, big car. You just sit around and monitor people's husbands. Oh, Joker. Andy is my beloved husband. I love him so much. And he loves me too much. He cannot cheat on me. Even if he cheats on me, one day. I could call up for your those people. I'm going to more about Simple. I am his home base. You gotta go. So take this your carton and get out of this place. Get out. Your husband is sitting at me here. Maybe you're eyeing my husband because my husband is a fine man. Yes. He wants him to leave the princess and come to you. Take this carton out of here. Oh, take God. it out. I'll call him and just get out. Get, get out of here. That's how you could go about destroying people's homes. I tell him this. Let this now. Go, go, go. Get out. You don't even know how to drive. You can't even drive. You put a woman to that one. And why? What have I not given to you, Andy? What have I not done for you? Why will you cheat on me? I wish I'm not making a mistake And I wish I'm not All making me wrong part But everything I and do, I do for it. you Just to give you a comfortable life what is But the man at the midst of the game, I got confused But as my wicked sense I realized Say now you be my lover And nobody can take your place in my heart Hey Tell me, girl, I say I love you Hey, my babe. Why are you cheating on me? What are you talking about, Andy? I'm ready to lay down my life for you. All my life, all I have ever done is love you. How could you do this to me? How could you cheat on me with Princess Alba? My dear, you know that is not true. I love you and I love you with every beat of my heart. Who is, who is feeding you with all this wrong information? Andy, you're lying and you know it. I can see it in your eyes. 
What has she done for you? What has she given to you that I cannot give to you if I have it? Auntie, what are you talking about? What do you mean by you're not interested anymore? The whole thing is breaking my home and I cannot continue. Listen to me. We had an agreement. This is a deal. You don't expect me to lose a, 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 million, a company worth almost how many million naira just because you have a chicken hearted heart? No, I won't. You can't back out. Someone is updating my wife on what is going on. And she's asking questions. Besides, you've not given me any money yet. I don't care. Listen, I sent you five million naira this morning. They are allowed to be on your phone as soon as possible. And in case you're thinking of backing out, then you should be expecting to see me in court. Don't try me, please. Hello? set the record straight. What records are you talking about? I came to tell the king that the young man you introduced as your fiancé, your husband-to-be, is all a setup, an arrangement you made in order to win the heart of the king so he can make you his nest of king and also to win all his assets to you. No, Kaminia. You would do no such thing. I'm here already, and there will be no stopping me. Alba, you know me very well. Back in Miami, what I want, I go for it, and I get it. Wait, 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 wait. What do you want? Andy, I have no time being caged as a wife to any man. But I need to have my own child for future purposes. Andy, from all assessments, good for that. Okay, but fine, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll make him accept your request. But please, you need to get going. Camilla, come off it. You cannot ruin this deal for me. I need to win my father's asset and you know it. Please, I, I, I'll, I'll talk to Andy. You can have Andy. It's not a problem, please. Alba, you are not going to lose anything, okay? But I know very well that in two months' time, both of you will be married and all assets yours while I fly back to America to secure citizenship for my child. Perfect plan, right? Yeah, perfect plan. Please can you go now? I'll call you, talk on the phone. Or I'll come over. Please. Thank you. <laughs>
you all right? I don't know. Are you having problems with Andy? None that I can think of. Your father and I are very worried. Why? You know everybody has their past lives. But some men sometimes are judgmental about the lives their spouses lived. They fear with men influence the action of their wives, subsequently their marriage. So they're always scared and skeptical. Mother, Auntie and I, we do not have any issues at all. As a matter of fact, we are deeply in love. We love each other so much. It's all right, just that. We don't want him to find out about your past life and probably cancel the engagement. Mother, he dares not. I mean, he won't. Auntie is obsessed with me. He worships the very ground that I walk on. As a matter of fact, mother, he loves me so much. So there's no way he will call off the engagement. And besides, I'm not going to let him know about my past. Or are you? No, no. So, it's okay. I just want you to be happy. I am happy, mother. Trust me. I love you so much. I love you too, mother. Thank you. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Listen, Andy, I know this will be very difficult for you to do, but you just have to do it for my sake. Are you, are you, are you running out of your senses or I what? I have gone completely mad. I have gone cacas. As a matter of fact, I'm about going caca. I will remove anything that stands on my way. Anybody who wants this benefit that I want can even go more than crazy or better still craggy. Listen, I need to be the chief executive director of Safia Steel Company. I need to get it from my father. She's trying to stop me from getting it, so you need to do something to save me from this shit, please. But that's not part of the deal. I know. Listen, I know it's not part of the deal. Okay, fine. I will add extra 10 million naira to our deal. I mean, to the only shop plan. Please, just help me do this, Andy. Do you really have consciousness of morals? Do you know what you're asking me to do? To sleep with your friend because of money? Huh? Come on. That's prostitution. That's not true. Listen, any moral that leads to poverty shouldn't be applied at all. Listen, everyone needs money. Even a dog. Fine. Christianity is free, right? But people still need to buy a Bible. You get it now? You have to do this for me. Besides, you two are going to enjoy it. It's a mutual feeling. She enjoys it and you enjoy it. Please. Please, Andy. I will reward you. I'll give you more. Just help me get this from my parents. I beg you. Andy, please. It's just to sleep with her. It's not that hard. I said it. And I knew it. I knew it. I knew that it won't be long. You will show that young man your true color. I knew it. I don't understand, Father. That promising young man told me that he will visit soon. Now weeks have gone. I've not set my eyes on him. How else do you want me to know that he's no more interested? Father, I do not know what you're talking about. But I do know that Andy has issues with his business and he just needs some time to sort it out, that's all. He needs some time to sort things out. Four days gone. Perhaps weeks have gone. And we are towards the end of the month. And the young man is not here to present his people for proper introduction. How else do you want me to know that he's no more interested?
Father. Father, you are assuming things wrongly. Trust me. Andy just has some issues to sort out and in due time he'll be here. Listen to me, Alba. I will not, I repeat, I will never hand over my company that is worth two million dollars to a wayward and a recalcitrant daughter. You really have to calm down. Get married and prove to me that you're ready before I hand over anything to you. I don't know how I got myself into this. I want riches fine, but not at the expense of the peace of my mind. Andy, that reminds me. Ever since your meeting with the princess, you've not said anything to me. What happened? I mean, fill me in now. Your guy. You. Can you imagine what the princess asked me to say? What? She called me to negotiate. She wants me to sleep with her friend, Camilla. Because Camilla wants to tell the king about the marriage contract. And she offered to give me another 10 million naira about it. Eh? Eh? What did you tell her? Are you objected and she... Are you mad? You objected to what? Hey! How in the name of everything that is saying would you turn down such a juicy offer? Another 10 million naira. Is it good, Hey! And the... Collins, you don't understand. This whole thing is breaking my marriage. I beg, leave that thing. Uh -uh. Your marriage needs the money to get things spiced up. You must not lose this deal for any reason. I think everyone around me is getting sick. Andy, you are the one who is sick. Yes, and I think I need to summon the best psychiatrics in the country to have your head examined because it seems to me that you've lost some screws upstairs. How can you turn such amount of money down? Eh? Okay, go and, go, go and sit down. Hmm. It's obvious you're sick. You're the one who is sick, Andy. You're very sick. How can you turn down such offer? Eh? I don't even know whether to cry, to scream, or, or, or to even curse right now. What is wrong with you? Hi. Andy, please, I am begging you. In the name of everything good your mother has taught you, don't let this offer pass us by. Please. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm telling you. You don't know that the word sickness is lack of money. Just check how many few days, Nancy. Everything has stepped up. Then think of what another 10 million will do for us. Think about it. Huh? Oh, you're covering your ears. Okay. If the princess had picked interest on me, you think all this thing would be happening? You are on your way to becoming a millionaire. And you have to utilize the opportunity. You are on your way to becoming a millionaire. And you have to utilize the opportunity.
Baby, I try as much as possible. Let me just say, it is necessary that I brush you up a little so that you can come up to the standard that I want. Take this, get yourself a car, and then fix yourself up. <sighs> Darling, you may be having deals with Princess Alba. Oh, the truth is that I love you a lot. You are, you're my kind of man. Ah, and for your sake, I will be considering to stop lesbianism. Ah, baby. I love you. So tell me. You not rather an evangelist? I love you too, mother. Are you okay, mother? <sighs> what bothers you? I told you to tell Andy about your past life. But you refused. Uh, mother, this is my relationship and I can handle it. You think so? I know so. Some months ago you came back from the US. Smoking and drinking heavily. Living a party and club life with some of your wild friends. But after some time, we don't see thoughts of cigarettes, bottles of wines littered all over the house. We attribute it as a result of the man that is in your life now. Now your father is afraid. He's concerned that that same man is not being seen around the house. Hmm. What are you hiding? Does he mean he has found out about your past life and called off the engagement? Mother, you worry yourself so much. We are fine. <sighs> Angie and I decided to make our relationship. I mean, we decided to keep it in private. We are fine. We don't have any issues at all. Ah, but nothing is hidden under the sun. Tell him yourself so that he can deal with it. Fine. Don't let some other person tell him and ruin your relationship with him. Mother, I've heard you. I will. Your man, your husband, should be your best friend. He should be your confidant. You tell him everything. <sighs> Sorry, Mom. Of the devil. Yeah, hello. Hey, baby. Where? Okay, okay. No, I'm coming. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. Bye. Mother, um, Andy and I are supposed to be hanging out together today. Nice. 
It's all right. It's fine. Your father and I are going for King Alfred's coronation. Okay. We may be coming back late, so you take care of yourself. I know mean, that. <laughs> okay, I cannot keep my prince charming with me. Good luck. Thank you, mommy. See you. Bye. Oh, bye. Your Majesty. Oh, I can't believe that you changed overnight. Baby, why are you doing this to me? You promise our love will last all. Where is the love you promised me? I have tried my best to be the best for you Tell me, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? You tore my heart into pieces Ah, Zikora. Huh? You're here? Yes, I'm here. Where's my uh, husband? Um, um, Andy. He just went out. Collins, you're not good at lying. It's um, Andy. You don't know my husband again. Tell me the truth. He has not been to this shop today. No. See, the thing there is that he went to deliver some... Collins! Collins. You are the closest friend to my husband. Is he seeing another woman? No, he's not. That would be very much an unfair thing to say about a man as trustworthy as Andy. Look, he just stepped out to drop some clothes to our clients and I'm sure he'll be back soon. And why would you even think he's cheating on you? Eh? Nothing, I... <clears throat> I'm just being curious. Look, I think you need to learn how to trust your husband. I mean, Andy obviously adores you, and all of us can attest to it. He loves you, he wouldn't have any reason to cheat on you. I mean, so, what did you bring for us? Oh, um, uh -huh. Yay! Hey! <laughs> ah! Zikora! Wan Yoma! I'll, I'll, I'll be on my way. Thank you so much. Eh? Once he comes back, I'll tell him you were here. You tore my heart into pieces. You make me cry every now and then. Where did I go? Where did I go? Where more can I come and be with you? Hey, I spent my life only loving. This woman is such an angel. Huh? Collins, are you sure you will not purge after eating this fruit? You just lied to an innocent woman. Tell me, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? You tore my heart into pieces. doing the right thing or am I exchanging my marital vows for a plate of porridge? Uh, 
Call it an advantage of you sleeping with a rich girl. <laughs> oh, my bad. Well, maybe that's why you took me out on a date. Right or wrong? Not really. I felt I should let you know. Oh, you should let me know. You know what? Why don't you keep the money to yourself? I mean, you need to get yourself a good car because you deserve it and you're not supposed to be tracking all by yourself. So you can keep it. Hmm. What about the meat you don't want? You can have some, sorry. So, closer. She's not closer. Take. What's the mean of that? You still want the meat, yes or no? You don't want No, right? what's the mean of that? It's just the case. Please. Do not kiss me again. It's not part of the contract, all right? Fine. Sorry. I think you're getting tipsy. We have to go now. I'm not tipsy, I'm fine. You are. I am not tipsy. I can even get her all by myself. So why don't you just watch me? Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. No. I have to take you home now. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, come wait. Come on. I have to go home now. Let's go. Okay, I can go over my service. Come on, let's me. go. She's harassing me. You never told me that he would come. That's unfair. Mm -hmm. um, Have you offered him anything? Uh, uh, no, Your Majesty, I'm, I'm good. No, you need some royal hospitality. Mm -hmm. You're my son-in-law. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Are you all right? Uh, yes, uh, Not to worry. Come with me, son. OK. Just come. You're, uh, you're welcome. Oh, come with me. OK. Come inside so that you can be entertained. Hello dear. How are you? Where are you from, my father? 
I'm coming from. Andy, I ask you, where are you coming from? I am coming from the shop, of course. Ow! You pathetic liar. How dare you lie to me? I was at the shop with Collins and there was no sight of you. Come back again and you reek of that same feminine perfume. not to lie to each other. We made a promise not to lie to each other, but you have changed. You now lie to me at any given opportunity. Yes, sir. Okay, I, 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 I am sorry, okay? But see, there is this business deal, a good one, that I'm pursuing. And very soon, this deal I'm pursuing is going to change our lives. And soon as it will match up. Okay? And we'll be fine again. We're going to be fine. I love you, Andy. I love you so much and I'm sorry I slapped you. But oh, please. Stop lying to me. Don't lie to me again, please. Going to with your bag. Okay, Nemes. I'm leaving this marriage. You can't continue. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. You can't do this. You know I love you. You know. Who is Camilla? Staying under the same roof, Andy, and you got another woman pregnant. My love, see, uh, see, it, it's not what you think. Say no more lies. The evidence is obvious. I'm going to leave so that you call them to stay with you here. Do not do this. Don't touch me. Stop this. Please. You don't have to do this. Come on. Wait. Wait. Tell us you can't say. 